Welcome back. This is part three of 3D animation in Photoshop for comic book creators who are making comic book trailers and motion comics. Today we're going to talk about masks. Masks are an essential part of Photoshop, so they're going to be really important in your animation too. Now, I expect everybody to know a lot about Photoshop to begin with, so hopefully I'm not going too fast for anybody. Uh, I'm familiar with Photoshop, that's why I use Photoshop for my animation. I don't want to go back into another program uh, and learn you know, Illustrator or After Effects from scratch. So that's the reasoning behind me wanting to do this. So let's go and uh, look at masks. I'm going to hit the mask button, mask pops up, now you have layer mask position, layer mask enable. So let's make a layer mask right here, okay, just going to use the marquee tool, select it, fill it, option delete, it's going to fill it with this foreground color, okay? And when you're not doing animation, right now I'm selected right here onto the mask itself and I can move the mask. Because I have this little chain here, the mask and the character are linked. Okay, so now I click on the character, I move the character, the mask also moves because they're linked. If I unlink it, take the character, I move it, it moves under the mask. All right, I'm moving the character now because there's the little four little white corners around it and the mask is not moving, the mask is staying there. And that's what you use a lot in animation. Things pop out of nowhere. All right? But you gotta remember, you gotta have those white squares around the character. If you have them on the mask, then the mask moves, which is also cool. It can reveal things. Remember, black conceals, white reveals in your masks. So now I have layer mask position, layer mask enable. Okay? But let's do some experiments. You hit the chain and link the two of them. Normally, the two would move as one because they're linked. Option delete fills with our foreground color. Command delete, uh, command D gets rid of the selection. Okay, so when there's no animation, I can move them both. They move together. The weird thing about Photoshop, if I hit position and move, uh, move the slider to two seconds, move Alethea. Alethea moves, the mask moves. It looks like they should both be animated, but they're not. Only one of them animated. Okay? Because I'm moving the slider, but over here, the mask is not moving. Okay? So let's, delim let's eliminate that. Let's hit the stopwatch, get rid of the animation. So now, Position is clicked. I'm going to unlink Alethea with the mask. In two seconds, after two seconds, I wanted to move under the mask. Got to select the character, select the character, move it. The ball appears. Now we have animation. Okay. So, linking and unlinking does not work with this little slider. It does not work through time. Now, if I grab Alethea and move her, the mask will move. But if I move her through the animation, the mask will not move. Let's start again. I have my mask right here. I'm going to unlink them. I want Alethea's position after one second to move to here. Select her, move her. But we'll go back to zero, layer mask position, click it after one second, or at the exact same time. I want the mask, so I'll click on the mask. I want the mask to move also. I want it to move over here. And now the ball comes up, and now it works. We can see the mask if we hit 
show transform controls, then you can see the mask. Okay. Let's say after two seconds, I want the mask to move over here. After three seconds, I want the mask to move over here. After four seconds, I want the mask to move over here. Okay. So now I'm animated my mask. And it will move around here. Okay. Well, thanks for watching this part about masks. Uh, we haven't gotten to the 3D part yet, but we've still got a long way to go. So stay tuned for the next tutorials while we'll be talking about smart objects and then 3D. All right, stay tuned.